been so tangled up on that left side, I hadn't never took time to mount this left bogey, this right bogey wheel there. I hadn't took time to mount the right bogey wheel, but I mean, nothing could be easier. It's just such beautiful weather. I went to Birmingham yesterday and got some bogey wheels, rode my bike some. Uh, finished up the left side yesterday. Believe it or not, it's even stronger than the right side. I don't know, I think it's because of that dual master cylinder. The right side pulls with a pinky, this side here pulls with a feather. Uh, still got the slipping belt problem. Gonna have to do a little adjustment, mount me some rubber around the hood. You know, I'm trying to get the vibrations out of it. Got a few things I'm gonna do to it yet, then start on the blade. Won't be long. There's a, there is the uh, new master cylinder setup. That's an old master cylinder, like I've already told you, but it's, um, it's, a, it's a new one. Very little use on it. Went in and painted a little bit on it yesterday and done some painting. Fix the crank it and operate it. I'm not going to get it off into the dirt. There's no use in it. Well, I might. I don't know. I might. We'll see what it does. You know, disc brakes by nature are immune to mud and dirt. You know, they'll, they'll just scrape off. You know, look at these four-wheelers. They bury up in mud all the time. And this, and I never, this, this tractor will never be buried in mud. Uh, I didn't build it for that. I built it to, um, you know, plink around on, toy around on. It won't never do no real heavy work, but it will do some work. Uh, let's crank it up. I didn't bring my tripod. Didn't take time to go down and get the tripod. I have not rebuilt, re redone the belt yet. Can't wait to do that, because, buddy, it's going to granny it up in first gear. I'm telling you, a granny second to nothing. And, uh, you know, you still got second and third if you... You know, if you, uh, you want to go faster, I'm going to bring my shop chair out here, use it for a tripod. There we go. Guys, this tractor is bigger than you think it is. It really is. It, it's, it don't look it, but it is. It's longer. Them tracks from the front of the track to the back of the track is almost five feet. That's pretty big for a mini dozer. You know, that's got, it's got a lot of track on it to be such a small dozer. I wanted it that way. All right, I'm going to set you up here on the tripod. Maybe you can see me right there. There we go. All righty.
slipping. We already knew that. We already knew we had a belt problem. Oh, won't be no problem fix it though. Now yeah, I've done a number on this concrete again. Sun's so bright out here. I don't know if these cameras even working. And there you go, guys. Complete total success on the brakes. Brakes are finished. Brakes are ready. It's got a I went ahead, I did, uh, I did take time to go ahead and mount this little bogey wheel over here. Got to drop a piece of plate right there, pop a couple of holes, put bolts. But that side, that, that's it's as strong as it ever had to be right there. But I'm a fanatic. Still got to make a plate here, pop a hole, pop a hole. Come over here and make the plate for it to sit on. Total of about 10 minutes. But the belt is next. You cannot get out in the dirt with that belt slipping like it is and I done explained it to you that belt's gripping about an inch and a half right there on that pulley and that just ain't enough it's not enough slipping too much weight too much torque for that you know it's amazing that it'll even turn at all with that belt the way it's slipping okay guys hope you enjoyed this uh, I don't know that I'll make another video until I get the blade on it I don't believe it'll take long to get the blade on it Ain't too bad a well in there for a poor boy, old country boy. I didn't weld the, the cleats all the way, just good ways on one side, a couple of good long tacks on the other side. That's all that's needed. You don't have enough power, you'll never have enough power to break them cleats off. And uh, my, my, my advice to you on building a mini dozer is um, always let your chain be overkill. Uh, if you get extra heavy duty chain you never have to worry about breaking a chain the tractor's not strong enough you can't put a strong enough motor on it to break the chain on a mini dozer if you'll use heavy enough chain well, there you go hope you enjoyed it see you next go around okay guys next time probably have a blade on it adios